what you guys are going to be fixing the Canon printer error code 2110. As you can see here, we've got a print code on the screen and a little warning sign here marking up in yellow. And we're going to be trying to fix it today. You can see check whether the paper that matches the following print settings. And this is what it does. It says replace the paper and the print. And this is what we're going to do in this video. So you can see here it won't print no matter what I do here. I pull the tray out and I've got A4 paper in there and I'm going to push it back in so it just uh, knows that it's on A4 paper and I'll just push it back in here you can see it registers now that we've got A4 paper in there when I click OK here let's see if this uh, resolves the problem now sometimes the trays uh, don't recognize the paper you can get a problem with those just let me get this straight here and we can take a look there we go so all I need to do here now, you can see A4 plain paper, click, click OK, and it gives us the same error message, 2110. The size or type of paper loaded in the cassette is different from the print settings. So now I know uh, that's not going to work that way. So no matter what I do here, I still get the uh, error. Now it says how to set. So it's very vague on what it's actually trying to uh, tell you to do here. So let's go to the actual desktop of the computer and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to resolve it from uh, the desktop. Now we're going to go down uh, to the search box and when we get down to the search box we're going to type uh, printer and scanner or you can just type printer. As soon as I start typing the word printer you can see printer and scanners system settings up here. Go into there and this will open up this pane here. Now once we get inside here you can see we've got our printer listed. It's running on Wi-Fi. So what I'm going to do is go over to the right hand side here and you should see print server uh, properties so go into here and click on change form settings now I've not changed any of these settings it just did this uh, error code now what we need to do here is go into forms here and look for the A4 paper now for some reason it changed uh, my default setting I don't know why it did that but it, it did and it started chucking up this error code but as soon as we got the A4 selected, uh, we should be OK. So what we're going to do here is just select that one. There's a few more to go down. There we go. There is A4. We can OK this. Once we OK that, now I'm going to open up a document that I want to print. So I've got a PDF file here that I want to print. And uh, I'm going to make some changes to that also. Now inside here, uh, this is where I want to make some changes also uh, for my printing. So you can see I've got this PDF file here which I want to print out. So I'm going to open up the printer settings here. Now I'm going to have to print, uh, print this in uh, grayscale because my ink is running out. But go into the advanced settings here and I'm going to choose A4. And then that should be OK. You can see A4 is selected here. And I've got it set to uh, grayscale. And I'm going to click OK and print that. And then once this starts to go, it will send it over to the Wi-Fi printer. So let's go back over to the printer. I've rebooted the uh, printer and I've powered it on. And it should now automatically start to print uh, once it gets the message from uh, the computer there to print. It will be a bit slow because it's on uh, Wi-Fi only. And there we go. And it's starting to uh, prepare the data to be printed and it seems to have resolved that problem. As you can see here, it's starting to print out nicely. So just tweaking those little settings there have helped fix and resolve uh, this issue. And uh, I wish they made it a little bit more easier to find. But anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. Hope this one helps someone out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Sorry about my voice. I've got man flu. And you know how bad that is. It's pretty bad. So I'm just hoping to get over this as soon as possible. But I shall see you again for another video uh, real soon. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.